Hello and welcome to this Astranti YouTube video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at an exam style question on the topic of sensitivity analysis, which is something that you'll need to know for your SEMA P1 and P2 exams. So let's get started. So the syllabus reference that this question will be dealing with is use a basic sensitivity analysis and what if in decision modeling to identify variables that might have impacts on project outcomes. So what sensitivity analysis does is try to find how vulnerable our project is to changes in the relevant variables. So to conduct this sort of analysis, we will be asking what if questions. What if our variable costs were going to increase? What if our sales price were to decrease? And so on. How would these changes impact our company? And for this question, our company is record label H. So Record Label H is considering releasing a limited run of t-shirts to accompany the launch of a new album. The expected selling price of these t-shirts is £35 each, and the expected variable cost per t-shirt is £12. The total fixed costs for producing this run of t-shirts is £5,000, and Record Label H estimates that they will sell 800 t-shirts. So the company wants to achieve a minimum profit of £7,000 on this t-shirt project or otherwise it won't go ahead with it, it won't consider it worthwhile. So given this profit target, calculate the maximum increase in the variable cost per t-shirt that would still result in record label H going ahead with the project. So here, the what if question is what if the variable cost per t-shirt were to increase? How much would it have to increase by before the project was no longer worth it? So the best way to approach this question is by using algebra. Specifically, we'll start by setting up our formula for record label H's profits. So that is profit is equal to the number of t-shirts we sell. We'll call that T for t-shirts multiplied by the contribution per t-shirt, that is the selling price per t-shirt, P for price, minus variable cost, VC for variable cost, minus the total fixed costs, F for fixed costs. So profit is equal to the number of t-shirts we sell multiplied by the contribution per t-shirt, and then subtract the fixed costs from this total. Now we know that the minimum acceptable profit from this project is £7,000. So let's plug this into our equation. So I'll write a new version down here. So £7,000 as our profit figure. We also know that the number of t-shirts we expect to sell is 800. That the selling price per t-shirt is £35. We'll leave variable costs as variable costs, and the fixed costs are £5,000. So the reason I've left variable costs as just VC is because we want to find the variable cost that would give a profit of exactly £7,000 and nothing more. That is the highest possible level of variable costs that would still result in record label H proceeding with the t-shirt project. So all we have to do is rearrange this equation to find variable costs at this level of profit. So first of all, we'll simplify things down by adding £5,000 to both sides. So 7000 plus 5000 is equal to 12000 So £12,000 is equal to 800 t-shirts multiplied by £35 per t-shirt minus variable costs. We then simplify again by dividing both sides by 800. So 12,000 divided by 800 is equal to 15 equals 35 pounds minus variable costs. So variable costs is the difference between 15 and 35, exactly 20 pounds. So VC equals 20 pounds. Now originally, the expected variable cost per t-shirt was £12. 
and the question asked us for the maximum increase in the variable cost. So the maximum acceptable variable cost is £20, the original expected variable cost was £12. So the maximum increase is equal to £20 minus £12 is equal to £8. And this is option A. If the variable cost per t-shirt increases by any more than £8 per unit, then Record Label H will not want to go ahead with the project. However, they can increase by anything less than this amount. If you found this breakdown of a P1 exam style question helpful, then you should head over to our website, where we have a 100 question video series, which is available for P1 and all other SEMA modules. So in this series, we take 100 exam style questions from a range of topics across each syllabus and go through them in the same way as the one you just saw. In fact, this video was an extract from that series. So if you found it helpful, definitely check out the rest over on our website at astranti.com. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. You can also find us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. So make sure to check us out there as we post regularly on all of these platforms.